to plan out the rest of your day. Temperature wise, honestly, not bad. This is still above average for this time of year. 41 degrees at noon, 44 at four as we'll all start to see that rain push in. But then as we go throughout the overnight hours, our temperatures will drop back in the lower 30s, mainly rain showers for most of us, cloudy conditions and a bit breezy. But it's those upper northern communities in that winter storm warning and winter weather advisories that will start to see this transition over to snow. So we're going to try to break down Saturday for you as uh, detailed as we can. Here's 630 tomorrow morning. Notice I-96 and southward, still all rain. You have that transition zone that could be uh, that rain snow mix and then snow as you travel more northward. Now you're going to notice this rain snow mix line. It's going to oscillate north and south as we continue throughout our Saturday with this low pressure system continuing to track off north and east. The placement of this plays a big role of how much snow or rain you see. If this low pressure system tracks a little bit more north, we push all the snow more northward. If it goes a little bit more southward, we push the snow more south. The trend with this has been pushing more and more north as models continue on, but I think this is pretty darn close for what we're going to see tomorrow. This has been pretty uh, steady for where it's been sitting the past couple of days. So to continue through Saturday afternoon and evening, again, north of I-96, you keep with the snow, south you keep with the rain. But watch as we get into Saturday night. That rain snow mix line and that snow keeps pushing southward. So all of us will see snow by Saturday evening and continue that overnight into Sunday morning. Look how quickly though that snow moves out. We may see a few lake effect bands set up. I think I'll stay mostly out over the lake, but really we're gonna dry out quickly throughout the day on Sunday. Hold on to that cloud cover and then just clean up afterwards. So how much rain are we talking about? A general one to two inches, most of it south of I-96. And I don't think we'll have any flooding concerns. Yes, it will be a heavy rain, but over a long amount of time. And our ground isn't frozen yet, so it's uh, still able to absorb this rainfall. Snow-wise, here's what we're talking about. This is a good picture of what you'll see depending on where you live this weekend. Again, as you travel more northward, you'll see more snow. The Grand Rapids metro area, we could see maybe a little bit over an inch of snowfall if we get that transition to happen quicker. But then as you travel more northward, two to five, four to eight inches as you really are in those counties with those warnings and advisories. And we could even have isolated uh, higher amounts than eight inches. It's going to be a heavy wet snow. Typically we see a 10 to one ratio with snowfall, meaning for every 10 inches of snow, there's one inch of liquid precipitation in there. So I think this event, five to nine to one. So it's heavier. There's a lot of added moisture in there. It's going to cause some difficult travel, heavy to shovel, and maybe even some power outages because all the while through this event, we have gusty winds upwards of 30 miles per hour. Everything leaves us by Sunday morning though, and next week, pretty uneventful. We'll keep our temperatures in the 30s and a light chance of snow on Wednesday.